Good day, everybody. Pastor KZ back at you doing an update on the birthday celebration so far. I just want to thank everybody once again. I've had my morning coffee, so thank you again for that. And it's about lunchtime now, so I'm waiting for my lunch. But I just want to say something. All in my spirit this morning came the word reconstruction. Reconstruction. And re modeling, remodeling and reconstruction. And I put the illustration together of when you own a home or you own some property, sometime you decide to do some reconstruction or you want to remodel some things. In order to remodel or do reconstruction, you first start with a plan. You have a plan of action of the, the materials that you would need to purchase. You, you're you hiring different contractors. You pick out paint colors and different things to totally remodel or reconstruct this facility or this home. Now, <clears throat> if you put that illustration together with your life, sometime our lives need to go through a reconstruction, a remodeling, and I think about that a lot since it is God has blessed me to be another year old. And I think that with this year, it's going to come some reconstruction in my life, some remodeling in my life. In other words, there's some things that it's not that it's no longer useful or, or it doesn't fit anymore, but it needs an overhaul. You want a different look. You know how you want to remodel or reconstruct your family room or your bedroom. You want to buy new furniture. You want to toss out some old things and bring in some new things. And that's what I've been thinking of for this new age that God has blessed me. It is time for me to let go of some things. It's time for me to remove some things, remove and replace some things. And that may even include some old attitudes I may have, old thoughts I may have, old lingering hurts that I have. It is now time for me to put some of those things in reconstruction mode. It's time for me to let go of some things, time to toss out some things. And also during a reconstruction process, you get rid of things. And that is what this new age will bring for me. I'm going to get rid of some things. I'm going to let go of some things. Might have to let go of some people. But you know what? I have to keep my sanity I have to keep myself safe, keep my spirit in a safe place. Because I was thinking of something Dr. Maya Angelou always said, and people always misquote this, or either they quote part of it, and they don't quote the entire saying. But she says, when people show you who they are, believe them the first time. And she goes on to say, not the second, not the third, and not the fourth, but believe them the first time. And also, Dr. Angelo says, people character normally doesn't change. Who they are is who they are. We choose to overlook things. We choose to ignore signs and ignore red flags. But believe them when they show you who they are. A lot of times people is not going to verbalize and tell you who they are. But their behavior, their actions towards you will show you. And some people have shown me who they really are. Especially during times when I needed them the most. And when I thought, I, I'm telling you, I have a testimony. But there have been times in my life over the years I've been in a place so dark and so hurt that I didn't know how to hold my head up. I couldn't hardly walk because of I was in so much pain. And people showed me then who they were, but I chose not to believe them. So this year, with this new year, this new year and this new age that God has blessed me to see, I'm doing some reconstruction. I'm doing some remodeling now. 
It's time for me to let some things go. It's time for me to put aside some things. And it's time to remodel and put some new things there. Put some new attitudes there, new mindsets there. So I'm just updating you on my birthday. It's a great day. I am so happy. I have so much joy in my heart today. Because this is a day that man said no, but God said yes. I will update you more and later on this evening there will be pictures to come because I got some people coming by. My little goddaughter is coming by. I've already had well wishes from some of my older godchildren. I have five godchildren and two children. So <clears throat> I'm expecting great things. I'm expecting some really, really good hugs today. So you all stay with me. Keep celebrating with me. And again, thank you so much. The emails keep coming in. Please don't get upset if I don't answer you right away today. Give me a few days to catch up. Thank you again. Thank you. I'm over 400 subscribers. You all keep doing what you're doing. I am reaching somebody, but it's not just me. I'm just giving you what the Lord has given me. Encourage people, inspire people, and give people hope. That is what Pastor KZ is about. I'm about being positive and giving positive energy to people. As I said in one of my other videos, I'm not here to give out negative energy. Keep positivity going. If, even in negative situations, speak positive things over it. And enjoy your day. I'll be back after lunch sometime. See you later.